Hello students, welcome to one more exciting video of the NCRT Exampler. In this series, we are trying to solve some of the confusing and tricky questions of the NCRT Examplers for you. And today, we are picking up the question number 38 from the chapter Light, Reflection and Refraction. The problem reads, a student focused the image of a candle flame on a white screen using a convex lens. He noted down the position of the candle screen and the lens as under. The position of the candle is given to be 12 cm. The position of the convex lens is given to be 50 cm. And the position of the screen is given to be 88 cm. And there are four different parts of this problem. Now students, if this problem comes in your exam, it will come for 5 marks. Why? Because this problem first needs to get decoded and then there are four different parts to the problem that will fetch you one mark each. So you have to be very careful while solving this problem. Now while solving this problem, students, this may confuse you that the distances are given and there are three distances. Some students can mistaken it as to be U, F and B which is a very very wrong answer. Why? Because whenever you conduct such an experiment to focus or to find out the image of an object using a lens inside the laboratory, you use a table. You use a frame in which you put various objects at different distances and the distances are measured from one edge. So these are not the distances as V, Q and F as you can take it. You have to decode it and find out the U, the V and the F for the problem. So let's understand this problem once again. A student focus the image of a candle flame. So let's say the student is standing here and he put the candle here, right? On a white screen using a convex lens. So there is a convex lens fixed on a frame in front of the candle. And he is focusing it on a white screen. Right? So this is my screen. This is my convex lens. This is my candle. And this is me. Right? So this is what is given in the problem. Now he noted the position of the candle, the screen and the lens as given in the problem. What is that? The position of the candle is given to be 12 centimeters. So this distance is given to be 12 centimeters. Then the position of the convex lens is given to be 50 centimeters. So this distance is given to be 50 centimeters. And the position of the screen is given to be 88 centimeters. So all these distances are given with respect of the person who is noting all these distances. So if you have to solve this problem, first you have to understand what is your V, what is your F and what is your U. So let's try to understand from this given diagram only. If I say that the candle is placed at 12 cm and the convex lens is placed at 50 cm, what would be the distance between the convex lens and the candle? It will be 50 minus 12, that is 38 centimeters, right? So, this is your object distance. Got it, students? The next problem says that the convex lens and the screen are placed at 50 centimeter and 88 centimeter. So, the distance between the convex lens and the screen is how much? 88 centimeter minus 50 centimeters. What is that students? It will come out to be again 38 centimeters. This is your what students? Your V. Now if I write down the formula. That is which formula? The lens formula. We know that 1 upon V minus 1 upon U is equal to 1 upon F. Now, what was the first question that been asked to us? The first problem was this. We have to find out the focal length of this convex lens. So, if we know the V, the U, we can find out the F. 
the V was coming out to be 38 centimeter. And how did we get this? By subtracting 50 minus 12. That was given in the problem. Then we have U. Right? Sorry. Cut. Now from the problem, you have understood that the object distance was given to be the distance of the lens minus the distance of the candle from the observer. So what was this coming out to be students? 38 centimeters. And as we know for a convex lens, the object distance is taken to be negative. We put a negative sign. The V was given to be the distance of the screen minus the distance of the convex lens. And when we subtract this, we again get 38 centimeter. And for a convex lens, in this case, it will be positive. On substituting the values, we see 1 upon 38 minus of minus 1 upon 38 is our 1 upon f. And your f will come out to be 19 centimeters. Fine students, this is the first part of your problem that can fetch you two marks here. Then the second part says, where will the image be formed if he shifts the candle towards the lens at a position of 31 centimeters? That means students, what he is doing? He is shifting the candle and the new position of the candle from the observer is how much? 31 centimeters. So in this case, your V, your U will become the distance of the convex lens minus the distance of the candle from the observer that is 31 centimeters and your answer will come out to be 19 centimeters. Right? Again this is negative. Now if you see this is your U and your F is also equal to 19 centimeters. That means you had placed your object on the focus. The question has asked where the image will be formed if he shifts the candle towards the lens at a distance of 31 centimeter. Now for a convex lens we know if u is equal to f that is here in 19 centimeters then the image will be formed where students? At infinity. Very correct. So, this is just a trick question to know whether you know where the images are formed using a convex lens. So, this is part 2 of your problem. Part 1 of your problem. Now, we have to move to the part that is part 3. It says, what will be the nature of the image formed if it further shifts the candle towards the lens? Now, the examiner is asking that let's say we are again shifting the candle even further near the convex lens. That means we are bringing the candle between F and O. And when this happens, what kind of image do we get students? What kind of image do we get? Right. We get a virtual and enlarged image. Right. The last part is also related to your set third part and it says once you know what you get in part 3, you have to draw the ray diagram to show the formation for part 3. So what will you do students? Very simply you will construct your lens and you will place your object here. Then you will see this will happen. And this will go like this and this like this. And on extending back, your image will be observed. Right? So, don't forget to make the arrow marks. So, this is your virtual and enlarged image. So, on doing all the four parts, you will fetch yourself the five marks that the problem can come for. I hope you understand the problem. If you did, do like our video and share to your friends. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.